Well, we got some fruit for the princess. Let's tackle another mission, shall we? Vicious monsters are keep disappearing and reappearing. Well, we got some more balloons to collect. Let's go grab those real quick. I like all of them, please. Thank you. And that gives Hoppy. That's because that's for a Yiga clan. Remember, that's for Koga. Koga gets her ability, gets his more training up. Bonus combo for him. Nice for him. There you go. And oh, we got some more training down for him down here as well. Bonus hearts. There we go. Ooh, yeah. Koga needs all the hearts so he can master. Oh, he's got another training module for him. What is this? 4,000 rupees. You get bonus hearts for Koga if you do that. Uh, let's see here. Riju gets her bonus combo. Link gets a bonus combo. There. Ah, it's a two-handed combo. We're not using two-handed combos at the moment. Um, We got grains like, grains like sand. And we got... The Mighty Thunder of the Gerudo. Sure, why not? Let's get your Bosa back onto the field. Let's do this, bad boy, shall we? we Experience points and Shika Rune damage is the good. Let's go, Arbosa. We need to get you up lev leveled up anyway. <laughs> For another Time Warp mission. Let's go. We're off. Let's do the Time Warp again. All right. Arbosa. Let's show the mighty thunder in a time warp mission! We have Link here in just in case of uh, problems that may arise, you know. Link traveled through time to help Robosa back in the past once again. <laughs> Terra, the robot is really doing its job basically to open up these time portals for us. Very useful indeed. Let's go, Robosa. We need to level up anyway. But still, man, I'll tell you about. Um, about how there's too many missions in this game. Let's let's just talk about that for a moment. Like, I mean, I know they wanted to put as much content from Breath of the Wild into to, into this game. I, I'm aware of that, but there are times where it's like, okay, for Higher Warriors in general, Higher Warriors in general, the series, like they had you know the adventure mode maps and everything. At least then that was you know a certain more missions on a map. But here it feels like since the Breath of the Wild is an open world map. Missions could pop up anywhere on the map, and it's like, that's kind of annoying half the time, because you clear one mission or one training mission, and yet somehow it's like, nope, you have, you have no, you have more missions to tackle. You know, and after a while, it just gets tiring after a while, you know? Like, I know I like the, you know, the, the side quests and everything, but still the fact is that a lot of missions show up after the appointed time of the story. You know, like after you've beaten the story beat, you know, you get like these unfortunate, you know, new missions here that act like the that particular story was supposed to happen earlier. That's what I feel like on sometimes some of these time warp missions that we keep getting. Yeah, we could have tackled them in earlier, earlier in the story and wise and everything, but it feels like they're just so out of place. I know they, and again, again, the game it kind of explains that you know the robot is causing these things to appear. You know, in an alternate world and everything, so these are not happening in the same timeline as the Calamity, I'm aware. But there are times where it's like... Are all the high, are the, all the Warriors games like this, where they're just like, there's just missions upon missions upon missions? It just feels... It's, I know, it's, I know, the, higher, uh, the Warriors series of games have always been... You know, grind-a-thons, you know, they're always grind-a-thons. Oh, goodness. Urbosa, we need to get back to our base. There's moblins in our base. We can't let that be captured. I was worried about that. I didn't see those enemies there until now, until I saw that. Oh, crap. <laughs> we gotta get back there. Now we're stuck on a wall because, again, this map is not preferable for a uh, warrior style map. We gotta take these guys down before our base gets captured. No, my watch. And I've seen, I've seen the deadly outcome of a captured outpost lately. So I'm not seeing that now. And freeze you. Yeah, you can't last against me there, buddy. Curse you, moblins. Link's over there doing his best to hold off the horde. The horde, anyway. He's holding off the Ford. 
No, not on my watch. It's an enemy that made in the stronghold. Not on my, not on your boss's watch. Muya! I think her boss is under, is un, is underrated. Like, I think she's probably, I think, the best character in, Bre in Breath of the Wild. I think so. Just because, you know, the fact that she acted, she was a surrogate mother, technically to Zelda from time to time, you know? It's like, that's, a, that's an impressive character for her, you know? You know, just to say, just the fact is that, you know, she was good friends with the Queen Zelda. And also by that topic alone, I wish we could see this Queen, you know, the Queen Zelda, you know, the Queen of Hyrule. We never get to see Zelda's mother, <laughs> you know? Is that, is that also a thing of a controversy of grinding and everything on that stuff? So it's like, it's like, why is there just like, you know, the lack of mothers? That's what's something that's weird in the Zelda series too. <laughs> the lack of mothers. Like, like Link doesn't have a mom. Well, okay, there was been one mom, and it was Link's mom in Ocarina of Time. But we only got the notice of her through the manga only. You only saw her through the manga somewhat, but not in game. <laughs> but then it's also like, say, you know, normal like normal parents too, where like Link is always with an uncle or something like that. Oh boy! But it's like. Why is it that always in the Zelda series that the lack of family is not present in the Zelda games? It's just so weird to me. Like, it's like, you know, it's weird how, like, even Link understands in Ocarina of Time that he's not a, uh, that he's not a, a you know, a Kokori or anything like that else. But not one time is he question, you know, who is, you know, where's my parents, you know? You know, who were they, you know? Like, what happened to them, you know? Qu Link never questions that he's lost family members. And that's just something that's just so odd. Maybe there should be a story coming out, or a story comes out for Zelda. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing a manga of Breath of the Wild. You know there will be one eventually, you never know. Like, heck, Twilight Princess eventually got one. <laughs> so maybe we can finally get Breath of the Wild, the manga, and actually get some, uh, backstory to some game, to some of the story and whatnot. That'd be cool to happen. This is what this game was supposed to be, technically. You know, showing what, hap what happened in Hyrule 100 years ago before the Great Calamity hit, you know? And that's what this is supposed to be. But still, is it? I don't think this really captured it all enough. Link, I think I'm going to send you back here. Just in case, uh... No, I'll keep you right there. You're fine. Actually, you're fine right there, Link. But it's like, why isn't there, um... I know, I keep repeating myself, folks. I know, I'm just trying to keep conversation going. I talk to myself a lot. <laughs> but, it's like, shouldn't there really be more uh, a story focused on the family? Like, is, 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 it a, is it a highly a curse or something? I swear it has to be. Where it's like, there can only be one major Zelda at a time. Like, there has to be. Because, it seems like that, it seems like that's the cause in that regard. Where it's just like, you know... Oh, no! Ow! I can't lose my- lost my apples on that one. Fire! That puts you on fire for the time being. There we go! Stasis, you guys all to death! There we go! Oh boy, no! And the camera's not helping me in this instance here. Goodness me! Take out this Moblin! Our buster needs all the level ups you can get. But yeah, it's like, man, I just think... I just think that there needs to be a... Uh, is there a curse for Hylia? There has to be. Because it just seems like almost every time a... Like, when the mother of the Queen of Hyrule, no matter what the generation, as soon as they have a girl in the Hyrule and Royal family, you know, they always name her Zelda, and then after that is the case that happens, where the young girl gets the, uh, you know, the new powers from, from Hylia, but at the same time, the Queen of Hyrule dies immediately after. You think after a while, you think the Hyrule Royal family like, you know what? We need to basically have her real name of Zelda be hidden from her until she's um, of age, just so that the Queen can live a good life before you know the the power swap of Hylia's power to the next generation kills her. <laughs> you know, it's again, it's never explained. It's never explained anywhere where it's like, what could really happen? You know. I, because, you know, technically, well, okay, there is a memory in, um, 
in this game, Heart of Age of Calamity, where we do see a brief, I mean very brief, of the Queen of Hyrule. But we don't get to see her face or anything, and it's just like, oh, I was like, oh, what a tease. <laughs> you know, like, we, it's like, Nintendo, we just want to see what the Queen of Hyrule looked like, come on. <laughs> oh, boy. No oh boy, no. You're not giving me electro electrical as well. I need your charges anyway. You're perfect. Perfect for you being here. You're gonna die anyway. And kick the bomb right in the face. Huzzah! The Griswold is out of kaput. I need your charges anyway. There we go. Full charge. Nice. Alright, let's finish off this mission off proper. <laughs> well, it's like our boss is just getting hit with everything. Well, that's a lip. I wish I could just jump down all ledges, you know? I would be cool. Oh, no! Oh, that's an electrical enemy. Alright, you want electrical charges? Well, then... Electrical charges it is. Our boss is going to teach you all a new one to mess with electricity. And freeze! Oh, yeah! Hit him hard! Going down one way or the other. Out. And fire away. Burn up a bit for a bit for a while. There you go. Rip you all a new one. Oh man, I moved the electric mob all the way over there. And freeze them. There you go. It's too bad the, the ice isn't edible. They bring up from Cryonosis, you know, that would save the Gerudos some time instead of having their ice farm. <laughs> Times two. Yeah, you better run. You ain't gonna mess with the Gerudo. Not one bit. Oh, a feast? Sure, I'll take a feast. <laughs> the feast that Gerudo could only love. <laughs> Nicely done. Cool. That still doesn't explain to me why families are rejected in high in, in the in the Hyrule's history. I want to know that eventually at some point. <laughs> okay, I think we'll do one more mission in the Gerudo Desert here, and then we can move on to the story beat. Let's see. We have another mission here. It's in green, which has enemies for us to kill. Like grains of sand. And I think uh, the Grudo Chief needs a break. So let's set up for... Link to do this task for us. Because why not? <laughs> let's go, Link. I know, I fall back to Link all the time, but he's the highest character I have. <laughs> let's go. Like the grains of the sand, Link broke into the Gerudo found Gerudo city and take on the enemies head on. And uh, going back on the discussion of the families, I wish there were more Zelda mangas. Let's be frank. Again, I was excited to, to see the conclusion of the uh, Twilight Princess manga. I'm like, that was amazing. I mean, the final like the final volume was just the final battle against Gandorf, and it's like. It's like, holy crap, <laughs> you know? And I'll tell you right now, mangas put, the Zelda mangas put the games to shame. I mean, okay, to be frank here, I like Zelda games, I truly do. But there are times where it's like, the games don't produce enough story. And, well, that's what the mangas are meant to do. And I'll tell you right now, the mangas do an amazing, amazing adaptions of the Zelda games to make them to greater use. I mean, I like the like the the Twilight Princess story that we that we just recently got like last year and finished off this year. I'm like this, like that was an amazing manga, amazing. And I can only feel like you know there may not be any more mangas in the style of the of the current writer and the designer for the manga for a good long while. I don't know if it'll come back again, but I'll say it right now. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind seeing, you know, like the digital adaptions of the other mangas. I know there's other, another Zelda mangas of like a Link to the Past. There's one of uh, Link's Awakening, I hear. And I feel like there is another one of um, 
of the original. Like, there's an original Legend of Zelda manga. Like, for the NES game. It's not as in-depth as, you know, later mangas would be. But, still, I think the idea of of mangas adapting for stories for games is for Zelda games is a great option because again it, it makes the makes the Majora's Mask manga or the Majora's Mask story all that more dark <laughs> in that regard you know it's like it puts more themes of, of you know malicious intent from the side quests and it's like like the manga is like, like it's like it's like why can't the ma why can't the manga writers be the ones to write the Zelda games? Because they obviously have a fantastic job of adaption. There we go. Take care of those mo that moblin out of there. Ooh ya! No, stop hitting me, electrical moblins. Don't like you, nor I like this guy either. This guy's annoying me as well. There we go. Rip you to shreds. Like the grains of the sand, you will fall to it. I'll freeze you. That'll do the trick. Oh yeah, you're in water now, aren't you? Oh, didn't freeze you in time. Dang it. That would've been cool. Oh goodness, I couldn't see where I was getting hit. Cameron was not being good for me. Oh man, that's easy. Of all my favorite mangas of the Zelda series though, Twilight Princess is now my favorite. Like, it shows so much potential of what that story could have been. <clears throat> that showed that potential of what Twilight Princess could have been. And I'm like, oh, that was so amazing. But like now it's like... Oh, it's like... <sighs> Can't do that in time. I swear I can never get that... that mo what the heck's going on with the Guardians? <laughs> What's going on here? The models are conflicting with each other. There we go. Freeze you guys in place. You're not gonna live the guardians. I need your guardian parts anyway. That's perfect. Yeah, you guys can't harm Link now. Man, you think of oh my goodness, more guardians are appearing. Goodness me. Oh, I took a laser blast head on on that one. Hey! How dare you hit me like that, Guardian? You're all gonna die. Even though you're gonna just respawn magically after all, it's a flying guardian. There we go! Oh! Laser to the face! Granted, it didn't kill the guardian, but at least did a lot of damage to it. <laughs> Let's go! Hey, I need all these Zappos anyway. Zappos for the win. This is actually not a bad mission to grind too for Zappo statues or, or Lavat uh, trophies or anything. Yeah! Rip you all to shreds! There you go. Alright, where's that guardian at? There's a flying guardian. There you are. Oh boy. Flying guardians can be a little annoying, yes, but they go down just as easily. Because despite the fact, though, these guys were like the tougher enemies to kill in Breath of the Wild because they were always high in the air. Oh, Maduga! Man, they're just bringing out all the bosses today, aren't they? <laughs> a Maduga has appeared upon the battlefield. Alright, round two, huh? We'll, we'll heal up real quick. But I've got special abilities on me now. Madugas can't handle me. No Siri Bob. Where is that thing? There's the jerk right there. He ain't moving, but his sand was, though. Alright, come on. Hey, Maduga. How's it going? Ooh, yeah. Ow, I got hit badly on that one. I keep forgetting about the stupid paraglider. I hit the B button and I don't fly <laughs> for some reason. And freeze you. Let's go. Okay, back link, back link. Woo! I don't want to die to that. Come on, Maduga. You want to fight me again, do you? There you go. 
Gonna rip you a new one with this. I have the Master Sword now. You can't hope to win. Booyah. I just have to keep my distance and I'm not at four hearts and no apples. Alright, you Maduga. I wish it would see I wish it would keep me locked on. You know, keep There we go. Keep doing that, Maduga. You're gonna harm you're gonna harm you're gonna harm yourself by doing that, but hey, I'll take the risk on that one. Oh he's going, he's going, he's flying. He's moving. Hey! I need more special power. You're the perfect person for the job for this one, Zavavos. Let's get out of here. I'm about to level up too, so that'd be nice to have a full heal. Maduga's gonna try to come in after me, huh? Is he gonna do his nice attack? Okay. Hey, you guys are being annoying. Oh boy. Oh, you got tired, do you? Haha, <laughs> you went too far, didn't you? Haha. <laughs> oh no. No! Oh, curse you guys. I'm not, I'm not gonna deal with the likes of you. I'm like one kill away from basically getting that whole level up. Ran right into it. There you go. And away you go! Oh, dang it. I was almost there. Come on, guys. You guys are no threat to me. I need to level up. Ow. Stop hitting me with your water. There you go. Level up! Alright, now I can handle against the Maduga. Hey, buddy! There you go! <laughs> there you go, Maduga. Now you're going down. He's gonna get back up, and I'm not gonna worry about that. I'll take some of the other enemies out for me, because I need all the trophies I can get. All right, you, Maduga. I'm glad you're not part of the manga for you. You'll probably be more of a test than anything else. There you go. Urgh. You know what's funny? I find the Maduga is easier to fight in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom than this game. For some baffling reason, too. <laughs> hey, you. How about you stay still for a bit? Oh boy, yeah! I think that you. You ain't gonna win today, Maduga. Gonna rip you a new one. Throw a bomb right in your face. There you go. And that's the grains of sand done like madness. Woo! Another mission down and down pat. Perfectly. Let's go. More weapons. Probably to sell. Yeah, we gotta sell some stuff. Ah, okay. Um, let's sell these, uh, one level one stuff here. Do 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 And, no, I'm gonna confirm that one. And we'll confirm that one. There we go. Get some money back. Oh, Hetsu got another, he's got his tier three weapon now. <laughs> we haven't used him at all. 